Yeah, welcome back everyone. Today we are out quite early, although I appreciate that's all a bit relative. It's 8 o'clock in the morning uh, and the sun is only just coming up. The joys of northern winters. Uh, so we're today back at Port Mulgrave. It's been a while actually since I've been here. Uh, we've had a lot of rain and uh, the rope to get down is a little treacherous when it is wet. Uh, but the goal is, if you can just uh, see it, to head down into this bay here. This is where most of the fossils are, the tide is in uh, still. But we'll get down there and head along, go around that headland and into the next bay. The next bay is where Brunswick Bay is and that headland over there, that's Kettle Ness. So if you ever hear about me talking about those things in other videos, that just gives you a little idea of where we are. Uh, we've still got the path to get down here. You can see the breakwater of the old uh, mining town or the mining uh, port that is the place at Port Mulgrave gives its name to which is now just a bunch of fishing huts that you might have seen in some of my earlier videos. So pretty much down onto the beach just the last few steps there and I say it's just beautiful I absolutely love it here and then you've got all the old fishing huts scattered around uh, you can see the end of the old mine tunnel there uh, that used to bring all the alum down here. First little teeny tiny ammonite just there. I might try and split that one later uh, but that's generally a bit small for what I'm going to try and be picking up today. Uh, but it's nice uh, and then I was looking down on the ground it's a big chunk of bellumite just there as well. So plenty to go and I have walked that far. Uh, so it is always worth keeping an eye out. This is all eroded back a long way since I was last here. So always worth just checking as you're walking down the beach. This unusual looking rock is what is called cone and cone. It's a sedimentary structure, probably fluid escaping, trying to get from the bottom of the rock to the top as it's getting compressed and it causes these unusual sort of cone shapes that a lot of people confuse for fossils. They're not fossils, uh, so don't get, don't get uh, distracted by them, pick them up if you don't want them uh, or if you're not collecting them. So just be aware. There's some big old chunks of ammonite knocking around in here. Uh, the only little nodules I've found so far haven't split very well, but that is uh, not unusual for most of the coast. It's quite unusual for Port Mulgrave, which is why most people come here, is these rocks in general have ammonites, or specifically dactyloceros ammonites, that split a lot nicer than those in other parts of the coast, particularly if you go down to the places like Saltwick, where all of those ammonites tend to be very sticky and not open very well. Uh, the ones at Port Mulgrave tend to open a lot nicer. Okay, this one might be the easiest one you're going to do, so I'm going to ask you to find the other two I can see pretty much next to it. So yeah, shockingly, just like that, sat on the beach. Uh, yeah, gonna take that uh, straight away. And there's another little ammonite eroded away there. And another one eroding on the top of that rock there. Oh, and in fact, there's one there and a little one there as well. So plenty of them in this little spot. Uh, and I think this rock has some more in it as well. Yeah, there's another edge of one there. And something you don't see as much of in uh, this part of the coast is that. That's a big piece of coral. Uh, you see a lot more of it down on the Holderness coast. I believe it's all glacial erratic washed in from a lot further north. Uh, but always nice to see some other fossils. Can you spot this fossil? And again there might be multiple but I can see a couple. So the first one is a big chunk of ammonite. You can see right there. It's uh, just about visible, but it's eroded away, so you can still just about see the leafy sutures. I have also seen another little section of ammonite just on that rock right there, but not going to pick it up. Just pick this up. Uh, it's called a devil's toenail or a gryphea. Uh, I haven't, again, seen any down here before. I think this is a, another glacial erratic from further up the coast, up by Saltburn. Um, so. I think what's happening is all of this brown stuff coming off the cliff is the mud from the glaciers in the last ice age. It's all, at the minute just sloughing off the top and as you can see coming down. And so it's bringing a few of these odd bits and pieces like pieces of coral, like the gryphea, uh, 
down with it. But not going to complain, I'll take it all the same. So in a lot of places on the Yorkshire coast, uh, the nodules you want to look for are sort of the grey-green colour. Uh, here you want to have also a look at some of these lighter grey rocks uh, because you will occasionally see beautiful ammonites in them. Uh, this one you can actually see the edge comes all the way around. It was quite a big one. This edge is a bit worn, but inside that should be a beauty. And there's a few more nodules just up there we're going to have a look at as well. A few different fossils for you. So a big old chunk of fossil wood right there. What looks to be a lovely deck right there. A little water worn, but not too bad. And a chunk of hildy keel. That would be nice to find a whole one of today. Another glorious deck there. Uh, just sticking out of the edge, but that looks to be pretty much all there right down to the mouth border. I am never going to complain at those. Uh, it's funny how in some places you wouldn't pick up this many dax. I've already got 15 dax. And again, that's the harbour there. I mean, I'm probably half a mile, maybe a kilometre at most from it. So it's a, just a fun place for dax. If you're ever short of an ammonite, would always recommend because you'll find them a dime a dozen. But you've got to look hard for some of them underneath and around. A gorgeous little bellamite sticking out there. And I will do at this point a quick reminder as the bedrock here starts to expose uh, and we start to get to the really cliff sections. Uh, no digging in the cliffs, super dangerous. Uh, whilst some of the section around Port Mulgrave is not triple SI, you should not dig into the bedrock if you do not know what you're doing. Do not dig out these nodules. Most of these nodules are in a layer uh, that do not have anything in them. So if you want to hit a nodule, look for a loose one on the beach. Don't dig them out because you're probably not going to get anything anyway. It'll be a waste of your time and damaging rocks. And if you are in the wrong section, it will also be illegal. So please, for your own safety, just leave things in the, uh, the rocks in which you find them. If they are loose on the beach, then you can pick them up. Uh, this is a section that I, uh, I'm going to leave for the minute. I might pick this up on the way back through. So this is sort of uh, solid, but at the same time it's still shale. So this will come apart. Uh, but what you can see is obviously some nice bellamites running through it. And a big, supposed to be like a harpulcerous or similar. And another one on that side. It'll be pretty flat. Um, but there's some nice bits in it. It's just a really big chunky thing. So you can stay on the beach for now. I wonder if it goes back with this second side here because there's another bit that... Oh, uh, it's probably someone knocked them off. That's probably what's happened. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if that bit goes over there or over here maybe. Yeah, so two bits that go together, I'm pretty sure. Uh, slowly falling apart. I hope whoever got the other side of that is enjoying that bad boy. That would have been a beauty. It's a bit of an unusual preservation that one. And a very different block and a little squished. Alright, I've seen a promising looking one. So we'll do this from where I've just put my bag down, stopping to put away that last laminate, to picking this one up. Have you seen it? Edge looks a bit rotten, but hopefully it's all there. It looks to be quite a big one too. Fingers crossed. So I'm just putting down my stuff uh, so you can have a chance to play spot the 9003 DAC of the day. There it is. Nice little one. Go straight in the bag. I do always find it a bit strange because you keep finding pockets of ammonites where obviously someone hasn't been or just the right level of erosion has happened. So there's two in picture. Can you see them both? So the first is this one. Mm, looks all right, although it's got some cracks running through it, so it might need some glue. But I'd say that's pretty good. And then the next one is right here, which is 
Oh, the middle is gone. So, makes that life a lot easier. Back it goes. Uh, I think the last bay, as far as this side is concerned, there's another bay a little closer to Runswick that involves going over a bunch of sandstone boulders, and then I might as well climb up the hill at Runswick. So I'm going to actually turn around, head back to the direction I've just come from, and then see what else we can find. I just picked this one up, and I thought, oh, another DAC a bit exploded. And I saw this here, that slightly expanded bit on the shell. I had a look over here, and I think these are little nodes, so I think this might just be a Paranoceros. Uh, so, different species, uh, not the best preserved example, but should all be pretty much there. I'll take it. Well, I wasn't even paying attention when I looked at that one. Oh, Hildy Keel, and picked it up. It's actually all there, but in a really rough state on some of it, as it's been really waterworn. I'm still going to take it, because I love Hildy's. Um, I think it could be a fun one to try and prep uh, when I've got all my new tools coming, hopefully in the new year. part in a way I didn't expect it to. Uh, a treat. A uh, very windy last little section as we head back to uh, Port Mulgrave proper. Uh, but still ammonites one there. You can just about see the now. Another one just in there. So plenty around. Still hoping that we might find some other goodies but I think it might just be a lot more decks just to finish up the last couple hundred meters. Oh, just to prove a point. Another one right here that you can see the keel of. Um, lots around, just want something a bit more than a deck. How about this one? Just sat there ready to go. Little pocket fossil. Well, it's done that. Uh, that's all for me today. Uh, finished at Port Mulgrave. Survived my climb back up. Those very muddy steps. Uh, they're putting in some more. Uh, but it's a pretty muddy climb at the minute. Uh, joys of winter in the UK. Lots of rain, lots of mud. Uh, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. We keep going up on those numbers, which only serves to help me and get better uh, quality production on the videos and also hopefully some more fossil prep and my own tools to keep doing it myself uh, so you'll get a lot more of those videos showing the before and after of fossils as you get prepped. Um, so thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you all soon.